Hello and welcome back to Stonehearth, ladies and gentlemen. Today is part seven of our Stonehearth Pride Rock Let's Play, and things are going quite well for the Hearthlings of Pride Rock. I have been having some slight issues with the game. I recorded like five minutes of this episode before I had to scrap it because of the technical difficulties. Basically, the game likes to stutter a little bit. You might notice these guys are sort of stuttering as they move around. I actually don't know what's causing that in the slightest because I can see my frame rate when I'm recording. It doesn't show up in the video. Uh, and I'm sitting at 60. Like, this isn't dipping at all. It's dipping like 59, but it's at 60 FPS. So this is in the game. It seems to be doing this. Again, I don't really know what's causing it. I think... I mean, if I if I was to speculate, I would say it's maybe because we're mining out so much of the area the game might be having trouble. I don't know. I just, I figure I, it might be this. I I don't know. It's, it's really that simple. I couldn't for the life of me say what it actually is. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll keep that going. So what do we got here? We have a caravan. I think it might be good to sell a couple of things here. We'll sell one bit of gold, because I'm generous. We'll sell two bits of iron, because I'm generous. Uh, I'll sell these clay tunnel doors. Even though I think we need more of them, and I don't have a potter anymore, but that's fine. And I'll sell two of those as well. So that should be alright. We're going to leave you to do your mining over there, and hope that things go pretty well on that front. Going to slice into here and see everything. It's, uh, it's looking alright up here. Definitely looks alright. We should have a daily update coming any second, which, if things are going exactly as well as they have done before, should absolutely- is that a- it's a little squirrel. No, that's adorable. Uh, we should absolutely have another hearthling coming by any second, which is beautiful news. I do also want to just change my ladders a little bit, because I can, really. There we go, daily update. We have the food, the popular- uh, the morale, and the- Net worth to increase the population to 16. Not bad. There we go. That's another hearthling for us to use. Which is great news. Because it means that... Ooh, blacksmith level 1. It's about time. This is good, though. Because it means that, uh, for one, we'll have more people uh, mining this side. Which, honestly, I think is the problem. I think... I think I'm going to suspend this mining job. Because the more they do this, the more it seems to sort of lag a little. Again, it's not its not frame rate. I just, I don't know. I've got the game running at four, like the super speed now. It seems to be running fine. So maybe it's sort of, maybe I've got something dodgy running on my PC. I don't know. I honestly don't. It's, it's weird because the first thing that would go if it was a PC related problem would be your FPS. And mine is fine. So... I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it too much. It's something I can't really fix immediately. And I kind of just really want to play this. So, a goblin has arrived. Puny town. That wouldn't be a goblin's voice, would it? No. No, it wouldn't. But anyway. <laughs> Puny town. Bow and tremble. My chief of chiefs, Ergo Skullbonker. Soon take glittering army and rule all of Red Kiln. You next of many conquests, you become our gold farmers. Goblins long be shunned and forgotten. Soothsayers say that Ergo Skullbonker, my little chief, will soon char change everything. For that, he need gold and labor. Ha! Whatever. You all belong to us now. We come soon to collect you for gold mines. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. It seems that we might have a bit of an army arriving soon, which is not really something that, uh, not something I'm 100% sure we can win against. Uh, now this is an invasion that's no problem to deal with. This is, this in particular is, is no big deal, uh, because this thing's going to be dead in seconds. What I would like to check is the inventory at the moment. Uh, we currently have five wooden swords. 
So with that, we can get five more footmen. Which isn't bad. Uh, now, this new guy here is level four on body. So what I'm going to do is actually change his job and make him a footman. I think four is the cutoff point. Anything below four, and I'm just not letting them be a, a footman. So I think we'll have a sixth, a sixth fighter. That should be good. Let's have a quick look at the black one of the blacksmiths. They just got level five, which is beautiful news. I don't want to change your job. That is not what I'm looking for. Let's just have a quick look. So you can you can't make gold yet. You can sort silver though, which might be pretty good to do. Let's maybe have you craft as many of those as you can at some point because the silver ingots could be quite useful to have. Uh, it would be nice to get a long sword. I don't know if we have a level three knight though. Let's have ourselves a quick look at you. You're level two. When would you be level three? Very soon. All right. So with that, I think what we're going to do then is get ourselves working on a long sword for the night. We'll throw that up there. We could look into things like iron mail, although we don't currently have the iron for it. Uh, it would be useful to get something like iron mail for my... Footman. They're not all level three, though, so maybe... No, I, I don't think I'm going to go for anything less than iron. Uh, I will make knight level three. There we go. Beautiful. So hopefully we'll get this uh, new sword made kind of soon. If we get a level six blacksmith, we can make full plate mail. Mail? Mail? I don't know. I can't for... Full plate mail. There we go. For uh, a level one knight. We could also make silver mail. Which would be pretty good too, because that is like nine defense. We actually have the, we, we could make this. A silver plate shield is a thing we can make as well. A silver helmet is a thing we can make. We can have a silver knight. And I think that would be absolutely awesome. So that's a thing I'm going to want eventually. I do want to have a little look at my carpenter. Who still can't actually make, you're not even level two yet. We need you to be level four so we can get some archers. Here's a question. Are there any goblin camps nearby? Or is there anything in general that we could go out and fight? Because getting some experience for my footman would be a really good idea. It doesn't look like it. So, the first fight of... Ah, hello. A figure... Okay. Are you afraid, Valentown? Ogo, so-called chief, will be here soon. For you. To borrow strength, to rise, means to fall when strength fails. Ogo borrows his power not from his so-called sayer, but from the babe he stole. Upon this paper you shall find the lullaby to soothe the mountain's soul. Find a stolen flute. Bid your woodworker pitch it to this melody. Place it in Ogo's great ogre's path. And watch the self-importance meet its just reward. Fight hard, little town. Fate is meaningless. But were it not, yours would be to rise. I am the one who watches you, him, for the star, for fate. Ooh! Well, isn't that very ominous? So the carpenter has just unlocked a thing that could make things a lot easier, but needs to be level five. We could make this as well. We have the broken... We, we have the broken flute. But we, we... There's nothing we can do. We don't have the means to make it into the, uh, the thing to soothe the mountain ogre. So we're just going to have to deal with that fight. We're going to have to deal with the fact that we are going to be fighting rather than giving up and surrendering. Well, not surrendering, but you know what I mean. You know, you know what I was trying to say. We're not going to surrender. We are going to fight, but it's not going to be easy. Let's, let's go ahead and sell these furs that we have because there's some pretty decent money in those and we're not currently using them. So we'll sell all of them. Because we still have a trapper, so it's no big deal. The trapper's still doing their thing because we can't make them a shepherd yet anyway. 
But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm slightly nervous about the upcoming fight. I think when I won this fight, because I, I fought this fight before, and I fought it with Rhea's children before, and I, I did it on a live stream. Uh, I think I had two nights when I did it, though. So we can't get another person yet. I think I had two nights when I did it. And I don't know if I had a second cleric, but I'm pretty sure I did have a cleric and a herbalist. So I don't know. This is uh, this is definitely definitely dangerous. Let's see. I really want my engineer to level up because I want to get like the turnip shooter. I guess we'll craft the one bronze gear that we're gonna need for it. I don't even know if we have turnips. I don't think we can. I don't think we can grow them. So that's great. I mean, yeah, that's just that's just lovely. Uh, what are we growing here? I feel like that's supposed to be carrots. I guess we must have, har yeah, we have harvested recently, so. I think we're doing okay. How goes this mining project? Well, slow. Slow is, uh, is definitely the word I'm going to use to describe this. But we are getting a lot of, uh, copper in there. There's a bit of iron. There's some tin. There's a bit of coal, a bit of clay. That's not bad. That is definitely, definitely not bad. I'm just, I'm sort of biding my time here. I, I'm not really doing anything, and I do apologize for that, because I know it's probably not the most exciting thing to watch. The problem is, I kind of, I kind of need to sit and be careful, because this army could arrive anytime soon. I don't remember exactly when they do arrive, so I'm real, real nervous about that. Uh, let's just start harvesting a bunch of stuff up here. Get ourselves all of these trees that we can get, and just, you know... See if we can get a bunch of wood. We are absolutely going to need to enable town alert mode when the army arrives. Uh, it might be worth turning the worker that's doing stuff up here into a footman. It's just difficult to know what the right choice would be right now. Until we see where the army's coming from and see what they're going to try and do and all that stuff. Uh, it would also be really nice to just get a bunch more workers. That's for sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can also... Yeah, if I, I can turn some of these guys off. Like, if I tell you not to do your job right now, you're going to go restock items. Which I think might be a good idea. Because it means that my... Warriors aren't just patrolling. Right now, the knight and the cleric, they're patrolling, but the rest of them, the four footmen, are just hauling stuff. So I guess getting a bunch of stuff into base right away, you know, sooner as opposed to later, as I like to say, is uh, is probably for the best. You now you guys are all sat around. Are you just not doing anything? I feel like you should be doing something. Or were you just enjoying the... F no, you're off to bed now, aren't you? I'm curious as to why they're resting when they should probably be stalking. Unless that's just not a thing they do. Okay, you know what? Just go back to your job. Let's just have you guys sort of do your thing. A trader approaches. If I'll make you five clay beds, you'll be back in two days and give me a pl- No. I don't know the point of that rabbit. And it's still- There's still one sitting out here. I don't, I don't know what it does. A toy for children, of, of course. I mean, whatever you say. If that's what it is, then that's what it is, but- there's no children in Stonehearth. That's, that's, there's, there's none, so I don't know. I just, oh, I just want to be attacked. Right, there's invaders approaching. This is fine. Let's have my warriors come down and attack these guys. Nice and quickly, please. So let's kill these goblin wolves, which I, I think they're goblin wolves anyway. Oh, is this it? No, this isn't, this is a, this is a forward party or something, isn't it? Alright, go attack these guys. We need, I need to uh, micromanage my units though. I need to focus in one archer at a time. Otherwise, we'll get completely destroyed. Alright, focus on this one. Oh, there's that stuttering coming in. Again, not frame rate, it's just the game. 
It is just the game. I don't know what's causing it. Right, so that's you dead, and then we'll just attack those ones. Daily update, how are we doing? We have the food, we have the morale, we have the net worth. We will take a 17th person. Thank you. All right. A couple of level, a level two footman's not bad. Brindy Dacus has joined Pride Rock. Thank you. Are you any good at fighting? Uh, no. You're both pretty good at crafting, though. So let's make you a herbalist. Let's get a herbalist on the go, because if we can get a second cleric, that would be so good for any fighting that we ever do. So now that you're a herbalist, are you going to... Yeah, you're going to start maintaining things. You do need to be level two before we can, you know, do anything else and make you a second cleric, but I'm not too worried. I think we can manage. Nothing's really been harvested out here yet. Uh, what are you doing? You, I think, are just grabbing stuff. I guess there is still a lot of stuff to grab out here. That's also a fair chunk of copper just there. What is that? Is that silver right there? Oh. There's so many resources in these mountains. I really do. I mean, this this is why I want to strip this out. I want to get all of these resources. There's tin there. There's iron there. There's gold right on the side. There's iron there as well and gold down there. there. There's so much in these mountains that I just want. There's a big strip of gold there as well. Having all of that would be so useful. But I don't know. I just don't know. We're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to take our time and get it eventually. We still only have the one worker, so we are gonna be waiting for a while. Who are you? You're my carpenter. I guess it kind of makes sense that you're running out there then. Uh, let's see, what's the herbalist up to? Restocking items. Okay. I kind of sincerely hope the herbalist isn't just hauling stuff. But it kind of looks like it. Good. Uh, I'm assuming you don't have much to do. So, let's have you make, like, you could make a hundred of these, and we're going to. We're going to have you make a hundred of those. And I guess we could sell most of them. I don't think that would be much of a problem. I think a hundred small healing potions is certainly a good way to level someone up as well, so. I'd say we're probably going to do all right. I think we'll be able to get ourselves a second cleric at some point. Whether or not that happens to be before or after the goblin army attacks, eh. I mean, that's yet to be seen, but a second cleric is always useful. And I think after this goblin army attacks, what I want to try and do is get myself a few more workers on the go. No, not workers, sorry, warriors. Because I can split them into several groups. You can have up to four groups of fighters here. So that is something I want to do. Let's have a look. Do I want anything here? Not really. I could sell some stuff here, though. Uh, I Those aren't actually worth much, which is annoying, but whatever. Uh, I'll sell those. I will sell those. I'll sell all of those. I'll get rid of the bird baths as well. That gets me a bit more net worth, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to sell a bit of iron there. I'm going to sell... Uh, we'll sell these pelts as well. Because we're not really using them at the moment. So we'll sell those and get some good money for them. 2,406 gold at the moment. Don't mind if I do. You guys are just sitting around the campfire. That's fine by me. I'm actually kind of uh, glad... Gad? Jo Josh Gad? No. I'm kind of glad that we have a campfire up here. It's kind of nice to have some light right there. Did I... Where did I put the... Uh, didn't we have a second one? Did I put the second one underground? I must have. I think. Or did we sell it? Maybe we sold it. Hold on a minute. I could swear I heard... I heard something. That sounded like it could have been goblins? Might have been imagining it. It might have just been like the sound of my hearthlings eating, but... It sounded awfully like goblins. And I... I just want to make sure it wasn't. I think we're okay. What is that? That's a fox. Okay. I think we're alright. I don't think I have anything to worry about just yet. So, 
Let's not stress too much about what's going on here. Let's just take things nice and easy and hope for the best. What is it? That looks like a different rock up there. Is that just a shat? That looks like a different, completely different rock. And I kind of want to know what it is. Hold on a second. I would kind of like to build a ladder up to there, please. Because I'm legitimately curious. Oh, hello. Dilly update. We have the food. We have the morale. We don't have the net worth, though. Well, that's a shame. Uh, we can build a ladder there. I don't know who's going to be building this ladder, because... It's going to take a while. I mean, we, we might have the wood. Are you going to build it? Oh, you're going to build it. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I mean, that's pretty good. Let's uh, let's cancel that one, though, because I realize I can put a ladder uh, there instead. Are you going to build both of them? That would be super nice. Oh, yeah, you totally are. All right, so is that a different type of rock? I legitimately don't know. Because I can click or I can click on copper, but I can't oh, oh. Hello. At last we've come to place of great shinies. Go forth, my minions. Go forth for Ogo Skullwonker's glory. Oh. Oh dear. This is it. The army approaches. Uh oh. That's that's a bad place to be, isn't it? That is a particularly bad place to be. Run. Just keep running. Just keep running. Uh, army. Army needs to go... Oh, God. They're all in one spot. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. Oh, you are so... Yeah, you're dead. All right. There was... There was... Oh, you're going to die too. Yeah, you're dead as well. That's fine. I mean, it's not... Oh, God. No, you're fighting the giant zombie. That's fine. The, the, uh, the ogre has been distracted. So that's... Actually, perfect news. Right. Can we cut through them? Now, you're dying pretty quickly there. Right, hold up. Focus on that one. And then focus on another one with low health, such as that one. Then that one. And then... That one. And then... That one. Uh, now, they are starting to flee, which is good. Get that one. Uh, that one. That one. Get that one, please. Come on, you've got this. We've got this. We lost two hearthlings. That's okay, though. They were two hearthlings that were out in the middle of nowhere. That was completely my fault. Where's that ogre? Oh, he's he's not heading for uh, he's not heading for my warriors. We need to go deal with him. We need to go deal with him right now. Otherwise, we are kind of dead. Come on. Right. He's taking... Uh, he's not taking much damage, actually, which is good. I think we've got this. Aside from losing two Hearthlings, we've killed Ogo Skullbunker. There's more invaders approaching. Seriously? What is this? A really bad time for a second invasion. Kill this thing, whatever it is. Oh, those archers are wrecking us, though. Those archers have also spread out, which is a big problem because it means we have to chase each one individually. They're not close together at all. Uh, so that's dead. Go kill this one. Then kill this one. Come on. Then kill this one. And I think we're good. You've been defeated. That's fine. So Ogo's dead. The mountain is dead. Uh, unfortunately, we did lose our mason. Oh, we lost a blacksmith. Oh, no. Please tell me that wasn't the high-level blacksmith. No, it wasn't. That's still a shame. Uh, but it wasn't the high-level blacksmith. So, that's... That's better than it could have been. Uh, we did lose our mason, though. That kind of sucks, but... We did legitimately just win a war that... The, the war that killed us in season one. So. Oh, right. That was. um, <laughs> That was a lot of micromanagement. That was a lot, but we did it.
We legitimately did it. And I'm very happy with that. We have also managed to get ourselves the bonker as a weapon. Uh, I'm not really sure what I can do with it. I'm not sure if that's a weapon I can I can ever use. It's uh, it's the iron. There's an iron maze. Yeah, I don't think I can. I think it is actually just like a trophy, which I guess is fine. Also, I could swear I had a banner somewhere. Uh, have we? Get, oh no, tunnel alert mode still on. I guess. I guess we win. I guess that's victory to to us. <laughs> Not necessarily the easiest victory. And we are absolutely going to be dealing with attacks here and there. But that is victory nonetheless. We... Oh my god, we actually did it. That's what amazes me. We actually won. I did... I was so worried going into this. Because I knew it would be this episode. I did. I, I just knew it would be this one. Uh, interestingly, part 7. Which was the episode that killed us last time. I was so worried going into this, though, that this would be uh, the last one for Pride Rock. But no. It's all good. It's all good. Managed to pull it off. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm gonna leave it there for today. I think we've done a pretty good job at uh, not getting horrendously murdered. I would like to get these uh, these gravestones back. We should also be getting some new hearthlings because we lost two. So we have Zand Tigri, who is going to become a blacksmith. There you go. I don't even know what you're good at. I didn't actually pay attention. What are you good at? Uh, mind. You're actually pretty good at mind. So you are going to become a blacksmith, which is fine. Uh, you guys are holding the gravestones back. Which is fair. That's that's a fair thing to do. So we're going to plop those there. Despite the fact that it might look nicer if we... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move the gravestones. I kind of have an idea. I, I know I said I was about to wrap things up, but actually, I have an idea. Uh, and I'm going to be honest. It's, it's an idea that's... <laughs> it's mostly going to look good for the thumbnail for this video. But I think it could be nice regardless. Uh, if I put a gravestone there... And I put one just there. And I put one just... Now, you're going to... I'll explain why I want to do this. Basically... <laughs> and this is really... Um, this is almost a behind the scenes, right? So, this, is, this isn't something I do often. But... What I'm thinking... Is that if we do this, we have what actually looks like a little grave... And if I make this, like, if I use these as the thumbnail for this video, people are going to look at it and go, oh, God, like, there's de three dead people. What happened? So that's my thinking. Uh, that's that's legitimately, legitimately my thinking. Uh, and I think that's kind of evil of me. But whatever. That's going <laughs> to that's gonna be the thumbnail for this video. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Anna, for watching. This has been part seven of the Pride Rock Let's Play here at Stonehearth. We won... The battle, we may not have yet won the war, but we can certainly keep fighting because our army grows ever stronger. We shall uh, soon reorganize this republic into the first galactic empire. And we shall be unstoppable. But with that in mind, thank you kind of for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!